Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a very exciting vlog. We are wedding dress shopping today. If you're just stumbling upon this video, I'm gonna give a quick background about myself. Hi, I'm Krista. I am 25. I live in Tampa, Florida but I'm getting married in North Carolina in the spring of 2025. So we have a little bit over a year left still. I was born and raised in North Carolina, lived in North Carolina my whole life. My family's in North Carolina, so it just makes sense to get married in North Carolina. My fiance, his name is Will, his family is all in Tennessee. We considered venues in both North Carolina and in Tennessee, but we liked the one that we found in North Carolina. So, and it's getting, it's getting really real with wedding planning. We are right in the middle of everything. I just love taking you guys along on my life in this channel. It's a lifestyle channel. So really just my everyday getting through my twenties. There's just lifestyle. There's some work stuff. I work from home as a data analyst. I got my master of health administration back in 2022. I love sharing balance work and life, some fashion, some home, just a little bit of everything over here. So if you are new and stumbling upon the channel, make sure that you subscribe to stick around for all this fun stuff getting through our 20s. But yeah, I need to start getting ready. Okay, I moved you into my bathroom so I can start getting ready. I have like an hour. I feel like you should feel your best trying on wedding dresses so you can get like the best idea of how things will look on your actual wedding day. I am in North Carolina this weekend. I had to come home for, well, I didn't have to. I wanted to come home for my friend's baby shower. She's like the first in our friend group to have a baby. So I'm really excited. I wanted to go to the shower and it was just like kind of the perfect opportunity to come home and try on wedding dresses. I thought about trying on dresses in Florida. I still might, but I just, I don't know what the, logistics would be of getting the dress from Florida to North Carolina so figure while I'm here I might as well shop here right now everything changes just all the time with making decisions but in this moment I'm not planning to buy today or this weekend at all I really just want to get an idea of what I like if I find something that I think is like the perfect dress I think I'll just take note of it and then kind of think on it for a little, but I don't really know what to expect today. Everyone says like, when you find the one, you just know. I'm like, I am so indecisive and picky and hard on myself. I just don't know if I'll put one on and be like, this is it. I hope I have that moment. I really do. But I just don't know. I don't know what to expect. I think I'm actually nervous. Like I said, like I hope I like the way the dresses look. So yeah, my plan right now is not to buy. It's to potentially find the one, but think on it for a while. I still have over a year until my wedding. So they say you should buy a dress like eight months in advance. So I still have some time there. Today, we're going to like a larger store. It's where my friend Jessica got her dress. It's Carolina Bridal World, I think it's called. No, no totally wrong it's new york bride and groom going to that one today my friend jessica said they have like a huge selection so i feel like that would be a good place to start so that i can try on a really wide variety of dresses because i don't know what looks good on me and what i'm gonna want i feel like i have like two different visions one is the sleek simple timeless bride with like the bun and the the veil being a real moment but your dress is really really simple like that I think is beautiful and then on the other side i really like the like super detailed lacy bling dresses i'll pop up like two pictures like two different vibes that i like both are on my pinterest board i also like different body styles like i really like i think the i don't know what they're called i guess ball gown kind of dresses i think they're so romantic and pretty for a wedding but i also kind of want to show some body so the plan for today is just to literally try on like the biggest variety i want to try ball gowns mermaids plain super detailed sleeves no sleeves like i want to try everything today to see if i can get a good idea of what i really want and what looks good on me i am going today with my mom and my grandma which i'm happy about like it's a smaller group i invited my bridal party but obviously it's friday a lot of them are working i took pto today to come here so i didn't expect them to come and honestly for like my first time i'm glad it's just a few people because i'm nervous and i don't know what i want i feel like i'm gonna be kind of indecisive so i think the first time you go like just having a couple people is probably good tomorrow we are going 
to a more like specialty boutique here. It's called Simply Blush Boutique. So smaller selection. I think they said they have 500 dresses. Whereas the one we're going to today has like thousands. But it's more of like a specialty, you know, small boutique. I think I'll probably get more like special treatment kind of thing. So excited for that. That's tomorrow morning. And a couple girls from my bridal party are coming to that one. But I think it'll be good because like I said, today I'll be able to get an idea of what I like. And then tomorrow when more people are there and there's a smaller selection, I can be more selective with what I actually want to try on. So that's kind of the wedding dress game plan and I'm so excited to be bringing you guys along. I'm doing a whole wedding series on the channel so I will link that playlist down below. So far I've just had like the venue tours and a wedding planning kind of like first steps in wedding planning video go live. But I have so many more planned and it's just so fun. Being a little bride is so fun and exciting and it's it's just a part of your life that you only get to do once. And it's such a short part of your life, like your engagement, mine's two years, which is actually longer than a lot of people's. But like, it's just this little period that you get to do all this stuff. So if you are in that period, just make sure you are enjoying it. I love that I get to vlog everything and have it to look back on too. I think that's super fun. Okay, I'm gonna stop yapping and finish getting ready. <laughs> separate my hair into sections and curl it but I actually got my hair done on Wednesday and it's still very smooth they just did a blowout well I did some teasy lights to break up my root a little bit and then a blowout so I don't feel like I need to do like a full curl but I'm just gonna do like that like add a little bit of wave yeah I like the rooty look on me I think stark blonde is like a little bit too much but keeping the root I like that so they just went in and broke it up because it was a little bit harsh so yeah I got that done on Wednesday and it's Friday so my hair is still pretty fresh so I'm just gonna do like a quick baby curl I'm fully ready I went pretty simple today I'm gonna wear these block heels these are from DSW I can link them if anyone is in the market my other like nude block heel was they were falling apart I wear them so much and these were affordable like 50 bucks all in I want to say and they're pretty cute and I don't like a super tall heel so I like these they're like two inches two and a half I think they're very simple but that's what I like for just you know an everyday kind of heel I packed so light for this trip I only pack these and sneakers like Nike sneakers so I don't have a lot of options final fit I think it's super cute this top is Amazon it's like a skims dupe pants are from pretty little thing they have the cutest it's so hard to show you but what is this split him detail just my basic jewelry but I'm pretty happy with this little simple fit oh I also I'm gonna put together my bachelorette proposal boxes in this video too because three of my bridesmaids I'm gonna see them at the baby shower I'm gonna give them those which is exciting I'm getting excited and I'm gonna carry this bag which I love a workout yes it is <laughs> i love the neck the neck and the whole nana thinks i should show off my body yes <laughs> well like i said if i had a body like that i would show it off <laughs> Okay, I'm back home. I wanted to do just a little bit of a recap on the day. Honestly, it was super fun trying on all the dresses. They all were so beautiful and I felt good in them, which 
obviously it made me feel good i don't think i found the one today i didn't think i would i was a little overwhelmed with my choices i just felt like they're all so pretty and i liked how all of them looked it's like i liked how all of them look but not enough for them to be the one there's one that is like on my top i'm not sure if i'll put it in the video or not it just depends on how i feel when this is all over if i feel like maybe i'll go back for that one then i'm not gonna put it in the video obviously yeah i don't know it's tough i definitely am feeling like how am i gonna know when the one is the one that's kind of how i'm currently feeling because they all were so pretty and i really loved the ball gowns but i do kind of want to show some body and you guys saw my nana was like you need to show some body so yeah i feel conflicted but overall happy like with how they all looked i think they're all so beautiful and i think what it is is i just need to keep trying some on and eventually i will find one and just be like this is perfect I just haven't gotten there yet and i think towards the end i tried on 11 dresses you guys is that crazy i tried on 11 i was just trying to get a feel like we tried on ball gowns straight ones simple ones detailed ones so i tried on a lot yeah i don't know none of them felt like the one there's one that in my brain i keep going back to like i really loved it but i don't know we'll see i have another appointment tomorrow as you guys know and this one's more of a like specialty boutique store so i think they'll have more of a limited selection but that could possibly be a good thing and i think now that i have a little bit of a better idea maybe i'll have a easier time tomorrow i feel like there's a lot of pressure for the dress to be perfect and that's kind of what you know my mom was saying it's like you feel like you have to put it on and it just be perfect and that might not be the feeling yeah i'm excited to go back again tomorrow with kind of a clear head because by the 11th dress i was just like overwhelmed and kind of getting tired and hungry and so i didn't want to keep trying on i just felt like i wasn't finding exactly what i wanted they're all beautiful but just none of them were like the one we're gonna keep looking i knew going into this weekend i wasn't planning to buy i wasn't necessarily planning to find the one so that's that's all good we're kind of right now we're on track with that we will have to see how tomorrow goes okay i'm gonna go ahead now and build my bridesmaid proposal boxes i have been acquiring this stuff for like months now because every time i would see a little something i thought was cute i would grab it so honestly the boxes themselves are kind of random but i just grabbed stuff like whenever i would see it amazon target tj maxx that i thought would be cute in the boxes so i'm just gonna put it all together there's not a theme or anything they're just some cute stuff i thought was useful for my girls let's put it together Okay, I just put like the black fluffy stuffing there in the bottom. First thing was these makeup bags I got off Amazon. They're honestly pretty good quality. They were not expensive. So I got everyone a makeup bag. And then I found these cute notebooks at Target. They were also not expensive. Got everyone one of these little notebooks. Next, these classic headbands. I got all the girls one of these and I didn't even get myself one and now I want one, but cute little getting ready headband I thought maybe they could use, use on wedding day if they wanted. Okay, now a few cosmetics. So picked up this super goop mini it was like a pack they had different ones so the sheer screen the matte screen the glow screen everyone's getting a mini because we are doing a little tropical vacation for my bachelorette got a pack of these touchland hand sanitizers over christmas they had like a case of them five of them for a good deal so got everyone one of those and then just some lip balm off amazon because you can never have too much lip balm the last few just little cutesy things i got everyone this bracelet i thought they could wear on wedding day if it'll focus it's kind of focusing now it's just a little dainty gold bracelet and it has everyone's initial a claw clip can never have enough claw clips and i'm obviously going with the like blue and black and white theme so i thought that was cute and then i don't know i thought this was cute little decoration a little rose candle here is everything in the box i think it looks pretty cute i also wrote everyone a card it has our picture will you be my bridesmaid and then a little note so i'm just gonna throw that right on the top so cute i do not like these boxes do not suggest they're very flimsy like they feel like they're literally gonna fall apart 
at any second, but I got these cutie little tags. I put some dried baby's breath. Cute. I love it. Now I have two more. I'm just going to assemble them as quickly as possible. I think these turned out so freaking cute. I'm not like the artsiest person in the world. I try and I think it's fun, but I'm not the best at it. But I think these are actually so adorable. I'm excited for them to get them. I am excited for them to be there for me on my day. For bridesmaids, I'm doing like three best friends from high school and then Will has two sisters. I'm gonna do both of them as well. So I'm gonna have five bridesmaids. I am bringing a bunch more people for my bachelorette because I have so many good friends that I love so much, but I didn't want a big bridal party. It would just be too much for me. So I just did like, you know, my childhood besties, Will sisters, but then for all everything else, I want all my, all my friends to be included. So I'm excited. I want everyone to have fun. I don't want it to be stressful or anything. So it feels like getting real, even though I'm honestly still so far out. I just... I'm always on top of it and it's exciting. It is day two of wedding dress shopping. My parents got a Breville. Let's go make a latte to sip on while we get ready. Got my latte. They only have whole milk. So it's good though, nice traditional latte. It's fun getting to like test the Breville out. We actually used it in the restaurant that I used to work at, but we didn't really use the frothing feature. And yeah, it's really good. I've talked about this before, but Will, my fiance, really likes just pot coffee, just hot black coffee. So like a machine, like a Breville just doesn't, like if we got a Breville, we would also still need to have a coffee pot. So. I've been trying to find like a, a mix of the two and I found one by the, I think it was DeLonghi or something brand that I'm interested in, but I would love to like, I need to look up reviews and stuff because I don't know if it's good, but that's kind of what I'm thinking we'll get in our next place. The next place we move, we will probably need to upgrade our coffee machine. I am really tired today. I don't know. Well, I went to bed later than normal last night. I probably didn't fall to bed till like midnight. I don't really know why, but that is definitely late for me. I'm like a 10 p.m. asleep person. So I'm definitely feeling a little sleepy. I'm excited for today though. I think what I've decided is I'm still gonna try on lots of different shapes because I was kind of hoping after yesterday, I would be like, I want a mermaid. I want an A-line. I want a ball gown. But that like wasn't the case. It's like not so much about the shape as it's about just the dress overall if that makes sense. So today I'm gonna try lots of different shapes. I've kind of got like my fabrics that I like in mind. And I think instead of saying, I wanna see all ball gowns, I'm gonna say, I wanna see all these two fabrics that I like. And yeah, Crystal and Jessica are coming today. So that's exciting. I'm like, should I give them their bridesmaid proposals today because they're coming to the wedding dress shop or should I give wait till tomorrow when all three of us are going to be together Jessica Kelly and Crystal will all be together tomorrow I could give it to them all at the same time I feel like because they're coming to the wedding dress shop like they know they're bridesmaids but I feel bad I haven't done the like formal asking so I think I'm probably just going to give them to them today the shop we're going to today is called simply blush bridal they have a lot of good reviews. I am in a Facebook group on Facebook <laughs> called North Carolina Weddings. I think it's what it's called. And people just, a lot of people ask for reviews, vendors, things like that. And when people ask for good shops, this one has been recommended quite a few times. So should be a good experience today. This top is so cute. It's from Fashion Pass. It has the little... 3D florals, little white bodysuit. You're only a bride once, and so be as extra as you want is kind of my <laughs> outlook on it. Like if you wanna wear all white for every single little thing you do, like do it, which is what I'm gonna do. You only get to have fun with like bridal looks once, so it's really fun to find cute bridal stuff. All my curls from yesterday fell out because my hair doesn't hold curl for the life of it. So I don't even wanna put more curls in it. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this, but. We are ready. Here's the full look, Abercrombie jeans, 
fashion pass cutie little bodysuit the same heels i am excited i have a good feeling about this one that really like fits your figure nicely it does. oh no yeah. Okay, today was a fun one. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I want to end off this vlog, give you a little bit of an update. I feel like I've made really good progress. I have like a few in mind that I'll potentially go back to. I do think I'm going to do a little bit more shopping. Most of the dresses they were saying, they suggest you order like eight to 10 months before your wedding. A lot of them were actually only taking five months to come in, but then you want to allow for alterations. So eight to 10 months is like a good place to order. So I have plenty of time. I don't really need to order until the end of this year. I am going to wait. We didn't make any purchases, but I do have two dresses that I really love. And I think I will go back and try them on at some point whenever I'm ready to order. I think I might go to like a boutique in Florida and just try on a few more. Yeah, and then kind of make my final decisions. But I feel like I've really narrowed it down to I know what kind of materials that I like. I know what I don't like when it comes to the materials and what's the embellishment, I guess, that's on the dress. I've figured out what I do and don't like with that. I've also figured out which necklines I like and which tops that I like. So I feel really good about that. The one thing I'm struggling with is the body shape. I like two different body shapes. I like a more fitted and then I like the more kind of ball gowny ones. They're very different vibes. One is a more modern take, one is like a more romantic take, and that's what I'm struggling with. I like the two dresses that I loved from today. One was a more fitted and one was a ball gown, and I just am having a hard time deciding do I want to go ball gown route or do I want to go more fitted? Like y'all saw everyone kept telling me like they see me more in a fitted one just my i guess my i don't know my personality and how i usually dress but something was really pulling me towards the ball gown so i don't know what i'm gonna go with but i know at least the fabrics that i like and also i know the type of top that i like yeah I do have some more shopping to do. I have some more looking around to do before I make any final decisions. But today was really fun. I was happy Crystal and Jessica got to come. And I feel, I'm glad I kind of have an idea because yesterday I had no idea. I was trying on so many different types. Like today I felt like I was really zoned in a little bit better. This is going to be, I'm pretty sure, my one and only wedding dress shopping video though because I do want obviously some element of surprise to what I end up picking but I wanted to take you guys along on some of the experience obviously but like the final decisions and stuff will be just private so yeah this is going to be the only wedding dress shopping vlog you guys just kind of came along with me to get an idea of what I like I hope you guys enjoyed this was so fun for me and just a very surreal thing to be doing I did I did shed a tear today with my it was like my top two dresses they ended up they only put the veil on for the top two. That made me shed a little bit of a tear. I'm gonna be an emotional wreck on my wedding day. I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna get through it, but I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you made it to the end, I love you and make sure you subscribe if you are not already. And I will see you guys so very soon in the next one. Bye guys.